Here's a quick preview of the upcoming routing engine that we'll be launching around August. What we have here is a multi-panel connected in the usual manner and on the right hand side you'll see eight buttons and these eight buttons control the routing engine so I have eight routes I can select here. So for example I can select uh, everything to turn or I can set everything to straight ahead or I can set a route, for example, route number three, which is five via C to 19. So we start at five, we go up via C and come back out at 19. And the route is selected, everything is moved. Five, green to C, green across C, green, down another green and out at 19. So the route is selected. It's possible to have multiple routes selected at the same time, as long as they don't have any components that overlap. For example, route 3 was flashing then because I've activated route 7, which is 11 via F to 19, but 19 was already in use with route 3. So we come in at 11, up through the green, up through here, through road F, green light across these points, green light and out to 19, so 19 was shared. If I bring route 3 back on, 19 will change and this route will be broken here and this route will extinguish. And there we have the alarm for the route. What makes this different is that we have active route monitoring. So if I set route 7, 11 via F to 19 again, I break this route silently because I'm operating from the routing panel. So we can see 11 up via F and out to 19. Now if I touch any of the points on this board, everything will behave normally. Until I touch a point that's part of an active route. So if I touch this one and set this road here and break the route at this point, you'll hear an alarm. There's the audible alarm to tell us that somebody's actually broken this route. I've wired up a second multi-panel now to the network. So if I now engage a route, for example, route 4, 5 via E to 19, the route will be set and indicated on all connected multi-panels. So we can see here for route 4, we come in at 5, we go along and down via E, back up here and out at 19. So if an operator on a remote multi-panel breaks a route, the alarm will still sound and indicate which route is now broken. All active routes are monitored by the system so that if another operator on a remote panel breaks it, you'll hear the alarm and the warning light to inform you that that route is no longer valid. Let's have a look at route programming. I'm going to reprogram route eight now and I'm going to set it from 11 via I to 24. So first of all, all we need to do is hold the button down for a few seconds until the LED begins to flash. Now it's in route programming mode, so all it has to do is learn the route. So we simply touch the points we want to form part of that route. In this case, this is already set, but we need to indicate to the system that it's part of our route. So we'll change it, and we'll change this one. Then we'll set them back to what we actually want. So the system has now registered these two points become part of this route. Then we want to go out on this one, and we want to go out on 24. Now we press the route button again, it stops flashing. Now it's programmed. Let's reset this route. And now I'll bring it on by pressing the button. And here we come, the four components have been set. 11, down via I, back up and out via 24. Thanks for watching.